in offering a more modern, progressive, and relevant education to our students. Government of India in its 12th five-year plan has a well-defined strategy to achieve this. It includes expansion of infrastructure with regional equity, focus on performance, better human resource management, reform of the curriculum, promotion of quality research, and creation of an environment that will attract the best talent. In Jammu and Kashmir, government has established two central universities recently. I am aware that University of Kashmir is electronically linked with the knowledge banks and information offered by reputed institutions across the world. This needs to be disseminated with optimal efficiency. This is the time to seek towards increasingly interactive and collaborative learning experiences. New technologies need to be adopted which have useful applications of teaching, learning, and professional growth. This will bring a significant improvement in the quality of our teaching and research. Universities must promote creativity and innovation. Creation of a knowledge society requires that universities encourage autonomous research. It is equally important to have collaborations and linkages between premier institutions of higher learning in India and abroad for cross fertilization of ideas and advancement of knowledge. Distinguished guests, as I take in the beauty of Kashmir, I am compelled to prioritize the preservation of its ecology and environment in the minds of our students and the researchers. This is an area where universities such as yours could make a great contribution for your own benefit and that of future generations. There is an urgent need to make these students fully cognizant of the visible effects of climate change and the general degradation of our land fresh water and many resources. In Kashmir itself, a lot needs to be done to safeguard the immediate environment and to evolve an academic curriculum and research to address the challenges. I would also like to take this opportunity while I am among the bright young people here today to highlight the relevance and the urgent need for greater tolerance in our society. No problems are ever solved through violence. It only aggravates the pain and the heart on every side. The healing process must be nurtured with love, compassion, and patience. Institutions of higher education with their emphasis on sound values, systems, and character building can play an effective role in developing a greater sense of responsibility and a rational approach to all issues. In this context, the duty of teachers is to inculcate in their students a balance of knowledge, skills with moral and aesthetic values. Distinguished guests, I call upon the youth of Kashmir to take the lead in forging the future of our nation in every field of activity, be it business, industry, trade, education, or culture. India is a nation on the move, a billion people marching forward, led by the ideas, enterprise, and energy of its predominantly young population. I am confident that young people of India will build a strong and powerful nation, a nation 
such as politically mature, economically strong, a nation whose people enjoy both a high quality of life as well as justice, fundamental rights, and equality. This India of tomorrow, achieved through inclusive growth, offers enormous opportunities for the youth of Kashmir if they only seize them. Do not lose any more time. The whole world is rapidly transforming itself. We in India should not be left behind. The contributions of young Kashmiris are critical for India's advancement in progress. Let the dark days of violence and conflict be left behind. Let a new dawn emerge. It is the time to move ahead with faith in our collective future and confidence in the largest democracy in the world where rule of law prevails, robust institutions function, and the constitution serves as the supreme law. I'm aware that there are grievances. Many important issues need depth handling and speedy resolution. Government of India and the state government of Jammu and Kashmir are determined, duty bound, to ensure that every Kashmiri lives in dignity with equal rights and equal opportunities. Let Jammu and Kashmir lead the way in the building of a new future for India. Let it set an example to the rest of India and the world by showing how the entire region can be transformed into a zone of peace, stability and prosperity. Let Jammu and Kashmir regain its historical role as a center of learning, a place frequented by saints and religious scholars, a land known for its diversity and harmony, a fulcrum of trade and commerce with our neighbors. With these words, I once again congratulate the scholars and students of this University of Kashmir on this important profession as you enter a new chapter of life's lessons and experiences may it be pleasant and rewarding. May you proceed to achieve greater distinctions and higher levels of achievement for yourselves, your proud parents, and your society. I look forward to your contribution, each and every one of you, to the building of our great nations. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.